everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for a 11.4.2 full self driving test. And we are going to do our saluted test and see how it does. Uh, the one thing we're going to look for is see if it fixes or improves rather the uh, going along the bridge so it doesn't fly out. I'm not okay with it flying out along the bridge. Um, as you can see, because the car um, has been sitting for a while, the GPS is not locked on, even though, I mean, if you zoom in here, that's it's pretty accurate, if you ask me. Uh, in terms of the road here, uh, I guess they, while I was, I was gone, they, I don't know what you would call it, like a tar spray something coating, asphalt coating, um, they put on the road, so it's now just, it's darker versus really bright white, um, and so that might affect how the car reads. It didn't seem to really affect anything, um, a couple of drives. I did, I did a drive earlier today just, just to do some errands, and, um, nothing really happened, uh, no difference at all. Also, I'm going too slow. I actually disengaged purposely earlier today and left a voice note that, like, <laughs> left a little message for the, the team, like, hey, can you please fix the speed limit on this road instead of the 20, uh, 45 mile an hour? Please, please, pretty please. Um, oh, is it going to slow down for this car? Oh, that was a really good slowdown. Yeah. So a lot of times in the past, especially on old updates, um, not any reason, but, like, last year it would slam on the brakes for a car pulling out like that in front of me that was like as smooth as it could have got like that was really smooth um like hmm so that um could have been improved a little bit uh what it should have done is slowed down more and distance the gap i did like that it um closed narrowed the gap to the truck but it didn't um it didn't calculate the speed decrease well enough to not have to jam on the brakes. Let's see how it does now that we don't have a car in front of us. Um, yeah, so um, what I'm getting at there is that it stayed 45 mile an hour going around that curve. That's what we want to see. I think that's that's great, um, great behavior. We want to see it stay a consistent speed around the curves. Again, for me, I find that to be totally comfortable. My mom might not. We just did a long drive back to Michigan and back, it's over 1,600 miles. And um, we, I, well, my mom really didn't use um, Beta on City Street. She used it on the highway for the most part. And I think it did really well. I think we had a total less than 50 disengagements for the whole trip, including City Streets. Um, I think it was like, what did I say, 15, less than 15 or so for the whole trip up. And I think probably about the same for the whole trip back. Most of those disengagements happen all within a short area. It's just like a, oh man, stopping for stop sign when there's no stop sign on this side of the road. Again, like, I guess I could disengage to like report it, but like, I, I don't know. Let's go correctly. Last time I messed this up. Let's see if we can not mess it up. Come on. There you go. Okay, good. So, we got that correct now. It is um, it is a Friday night. Uh, though we're way past school, school zone time, so I don't think we're going to deal with any school buses. You remember last time I, I messed up the waypoints, and that screwed us up here. The map data is still screwy but the car handles it um, pretty well considering what we're looking for is last time it was also dark so it's, it's kind of not a fair comparison uh, it does seem to do better on this area when it's light outside uh, it, so far this is really smooth like it definitely it seems better than last time of course it was dark out what I noticed um, with the previous version it just seemed to be not as smooth at night and just as a general observation I had. Uh, could just be a fluke, but that, that's generally what I got. What we're gonna look for here is how it gets onto this road and then goes down this lane. It's kind of a blind, blind turn right here. 
Yeah, that was that was actually that was good because because of the all the vegetation growth, it's more of a blind curve there than it normally is. And see, this is one of the roads where I would think it should say reducing speed for road type. Like it is going a little bit fast. And um, for my liking, I think 20 mile an hour would be more appropriate speed in here. And what's it gonna do? So it's very clear path to the left. That was always an issue on older updates. And we're doing pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is stop. I actually have my 360 camera on the roof. We're gonna do our crazy hill test right after this. I'm gonna let this stop here, and we're actually going to, I have, I'm gonna have to put it in park real quick. We go get this camera turned on. Okay, I'm waiting for it. We're actually gonna navigate back to that road. Where's that road? Why can't I find it? Here we go. We're actually just gonna go into the next test, I think is what, what I'm gonna do. We'll, we'll add a waypoint here. So, there's no one behind me. Yeah, so that's going to finish up this test here, and then we're going to go straight into the other test. So if you want to see that, go ahead and get subscribed. That'll come out tomorrow morning. This one will come out tonight. Why did that go into neutral? Interest. Oh, because I wasn't in drive yet. <laughs> Human pilot makes error again. See, that's at limited, um, limited speed to max to max speed due to road type. Um, oh no, okay. So that disengagement's not gonna count. Maybe I'll leave it note. It shouldn't route that way. We should easily be able to take a left turn here and go that, I'm not sure why map data is doing that. Okay, anyways, we're gonna make it go this way. This is probably really causing some issues, but uh, we want to, I like keeping my routes consistent to see if it has issues. Like this is a blind, like you can see actually I have the 360 camera. So yeah, this will make it way easier for you guys to see. Um, how like that type of blind turn we're talking about right here. Okay, so now we need to edit the trip and get rid of this one. So it seems like that might be a little bit improved. I really hope they do like focus on navigation routing and being approved. Okay, so you can see the stop sign here. It should stop and now it needs to creep. It doesn't have a creep wall. Oh, okay, now, they ha now it has a creep. Oh, okay, they fixed it. They fixed it. That was good. That was really good. I don't know if it's because it was, it's light outside or because they just fixed it. But that, that, that was good behavior. That's what I want to see. It, it, it stopped at the stop sign, creeped up, it you know, checked um, for cars to come, uh, and it's at a safe, it, its nose was at a safe distance from the road, and proceeded when there were no cars, or cyclists, or pedestrians. That bridge has a sidewalk on it, and there's often cyclists on this road. So that's important that it checks, and, well, um, normally as a human, I probably would have avoided that pothole. Oh, which actually, let's put a snapshot, maybe they'll see the pothole. Um, to get some pothole data. That's something we're gonna look for, that's something they really need to add. I'll go ahead and up the speed a little bit here. Uh, but yeah, so what, what do we do? We got, yeah, I guess we got zero disengagement so far. That's, um, that's great. I, I guess this is the best, again, this route has been. That, because they, they fixed that one section that's what I want to see is uh, how that creeped I want to see it do that every single time it comes out of that section hopefully with the 360 camera it's a little bit more apparent what uh, the car is seeing now the give reference of where that 360 camera is it's right above the camera housing uh, mounted and uh, so it's not where the B pillars it's forward of the B pillars by about two feet so it's not a good representation of what the bee pillars see, but it is a good, uh, like, you know, left and right view. You can clearly see what's going on. Yeah, to talk a little bit more about my Michigan trip, I didn't really record any videos on that trip. 
I tried to get one in, and my video sound was gone, so that ruined the video. Uh, but I will probably speak more on this tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going up to Asheville to do those tests. I'm really excited to see how the improvements have done downtown Asheville. I haven't been up there in quite a while. So again, uh, if you enjoy the videos that you've seen or what you're seeing, go ahead and give me a subscribe and take a look at those videos coming out. Um, probably not until early next week. I think I'm going camping tomorrow. So uh, we'll, won't really be able to get this uploaded in the middle of the woods unless someone wants to give me a start link. But um, yeah, we're gonna do some of that testing and see how it goes. So far, I'm, I'm like it didn't slow down around that curve. That's exactly what we wanna see. That's perfect behavior. Now, if I go set this to 50 mile an hour and it slows down to 47, that's, that's acceptable, you know. And I, what I'm looking for is that it will comfortably go the speed limit around the curves. Usually the speed limits are fairly accurate to the road type. Um, some, there are exceptions, but normally like 45 is very comfortable for that road type. Yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of twist in this test and this is where we're going to end it. We are getting on to this road here. Okay, a little bit of a jerk in the wheel right there, but I mean, nothing too bad. Otherwise, we're gonna pause it right here. As you can see, the map data is weird, but it does it does this fine every single time. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop right here. So this is gonna stop um, our saluted test again that was zero disengagements everyone uh, I think that did really well it improved the one thing I wanted to see and everything else uh, you'll see in the in the chapters uh, the improvements I want to see and the improvements from the previous version all that stuff look forward for this test coming up you'll see a preview all these hairpin turns and we'll see you in the next video I appreciate you watching bye